Okay, welcome to our demonstration of WinEst, which is a detailed estimating tool. So I'm going to start my demonstration with a quick overview of the navigation and structure of WinEst. So you'll see that WinEst is focused on ease of use and, and allows estimates to be prepared very quickly and, of course, very accurately as well. WinEst is designed with the look and feel of a spreadsheet, and at its core, it is a database and rules-driven calculator. The menu structure Structures and actions are designed to allow for one-click access to the most common functions. And the best part is that the users can customize it as much as they want. So let's take a look at some of these. So here I am in the sheet view. And the sheet view allows me to summarize and look at different views of my estimate. So I've got organized by CSI division at the summary level. And with one click, I can get the details around that. So here's all the details around general requirements, for example. I can also separate my estimate into just labor, materials, equipment, or all details. Additional grouping by location and any other WBS structure that you might have defined is also available. Jumping over to the takeoff sheet is where I can enter in the quantities related to my particular estimate. And here we'll see some of the other productivity enhancements that WinS provides. Let me go through and look at a particular estimate line item here. So here I've got some millwork, for example, which has a $5,000 lump sum estimate. I can change this through a couple different ways. One is I can just type in a new value, 6,000 for example. Another way is that I can add in a percentage by going modify. Now here's all the built-in calculators that are already provided for you. You can add a percentage, add an amount, multiply it by amount, replace with an average, and so forth. Here I'm going to add in 10%. So you can see it's been switched to $6,600. You can always look at the history of every single item as well by looking at the item history. So if I go to View, Item History, I can see the amount was first changed by me editing it from 5000 to 6000 and then increased from 6000 to 600 by adding a percentage. And this history is continually tracked by WinEst, so you have a complete running audit of every change to your estimate. Okay, let's look at how to create a new estimate. Simply go File, New, and now a new blank worksheet is ready for me to start adding my items to it. So WinEst follows a very simple estimating process where you add your items, you quantify your items, and then finally you tag or codify your items so that you can group along them. So to add items, I simply click the Add button. Now the Add button is going to bring up my estimating database browser. Now WinEst is a database-driven estimating tool. <coughs> so what that means is that when you add items, you are simply pulling existing items and assemblies from a predetermined list and that list can be augmented or customized for your business. So you can build assemblies that are very specific to your particular organization. WinS comes with several databases that you can start with depending on your specific needs. So here I am in the database browser and there's two different ways I can browse. One is by individual estimate items. So I click on items and now I can search and browse through all my items using the database browser. For example, I'm clicking on concrete, I can click on formwork, and then I click on Formwork Materials, and these are the items that belong to that particular hierarchy. I can also search by clicking the Search button, and here I can do a simple search for, for example, doors. So I want to find all the estimate items that contain the word doors. I search now, and there here are all my door items. You'll see that WinS not only includes the specific items which have been code coded for you, but also the unit price information. So let me look at the assembly database. Assemblies make adding your estimates much easier because they're pre-built with all the labor, equipment, and materials that you need to build very specific items. As I mentioned, you can build your own assemblies that uh, really make estimating go very quickly in building up estimates that are consistent and reliable across your organization. So here I'm in concrete. I'm going to click concrete flat work to find a slab on grade. So I'm going to pick slab on grade area. So this particular item has some built-in formulas for it. And these formulas, again, can be customized to your specific needs. In this case, I want to make sure that I adjust the concrete strength level to 4,000 PSI. I click Accept, and now I click Pick, and Finish, 
and now that item has been ready to be added to my estimate. Simply click OK, and sure enough, there's my slab on grade esti uh, estimate items added to my estimate. You can see that assembly has got items that are pre-built inside of it from tool joints to the concrete itself to the trowel finish, which is the labor components. All this is included inside of this particular assembly. Really makes estimating uh, error, estimating uh, very easy. Let me go ahead another slab. In this case, I'm going to pick one with a different concrete strength. In this case, 2500 PSI. Click accept, click pick, click finish, OK, and now I've got my second one added. So you can see adding estimates, adding items to your estimate is really easy, especially because of the database driven nature of WinEst. Now that I'm ready to quantify my items, I switch to my takeoff view. So here I'm on my takeoff view, and you can see for this particular assembly, it's asking me for a series of questions. What's the area of the slab, for example? What's the depth of concrete? Now I could go ahead and just type these values in, but an easier way to do it is to use the virtual takeoff tool that comes with WinEst. So I click on virtual takeoff, and here I've got some drawings that I've loaded in from, uh, that have come from my architect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace out the area that I want to pour the concrete on. And you can see WinEst is now calculating the area for all the selected items. And it's going to calculate how, what the area of my concrete pour is. So here I am and it's come up and it's calculated an area of just over 3,500 square feet. So I'll still need to add in the depth of the concrete. I'll say maybe it's a, a four inch depth um, with a four inch base course. Now here it needs the length of edge forming. So there's a built in tool that will allow me to calculate the perimeter. And I can do the same thing for my construction joints and my control joints. I can click add quantity and sure enough that has now been added to my particular estimate. There it is. All the items have been filled out based on that particular item that I measured inside of my virtual takeoff. So the virtual takeoff tool is really easy to use and comes with built-in integration directly inside of WinEst. Okay, finally the last thing I'm going to show is how to codify or add a coding structure, a WBS coding structure to your estimate. So here I am on the sheet view and I've added location as the first element of my WBS code. And what I can do is I simply type in the code that I want to apply and I can type it in again. I can cut and paste for example. Um, I can also do a fill down and now everything's been coded to that particular building. And now I can switch my view for example to by location and now it's going to summarize building one total and if I had other buildings, I could uh, get additional groupings as well. You can see that there are all sorts of other details that I can get on this particular uh, worksheet as well um, by materials, um, equipment, um, and so forth. The totals view is a nice way to get an overall summary view of the entire estimate. So here I can see what the total labor, material, and subcontractors are by amounts and by percentage. Um, the total hours, the net cost, and the total estimate for this particular piece of work. If I wanted to, I could export this to Excel. I could prepare a proposal. Um, I can get a print preview of this. We also have the ability to integrate with a scheduling system and actually build out a cost-loaded schedule. Okay, so just to wrap up, what we saw today was a overview of WinEst. We looked at some of the uh, spreadsheet-like features that WinEst provides. We showed you how to add an uh, estimate item either by uh, a detailed item or as an assembly. We showed you how to quantify it using the virtual takeoff tool. And then finally, we showed you how to codify it so that you could group and tabularize your data. So with that, that's the end of our uh, short dem demonstration of WinEst.